Hello again, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning. Please rise for the entrance of the official party and remain standing for the singing of the national anthem by Tech Sergeant Ed Siosi and the singing of Hawaii Ponoi by Captain Ashlyn King. This will be followed by an invocation given by Chaplain Stephen Becker. Say, can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hail at the twilight's last gleaming? Whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight? O'er the ramparts we watched Were so gallantly streaming And the rocket's red glare The bombs bursting in air Gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say, does that star-spangled banner yet wave? Or the land of the free and the home of the Good morning. Please join me in prayer. Almighty God, we come before you today as we give you thanks for the life and the accomplishments of soon to be, be Brigadier General Christoph Sills. Thank you, Lord, for the gifts and abilities that you have given to him and how he has used them to make a difference in the lives of others. We recognize not only past accomplishments today, but the potential that he has shown to lead and assume greater responsibilities. You have provided General Sills with special talents and showed him how to use them to serve others and be an example to all. His life, his career reflect a true servant's heart and on this special day in his military career, we are grateful for this impact. We are grateful for his service and his dedication to this great country. In some small way, Lord, enable him to understand the, the difference his service has made. We ask that your blessings be with him today, along with his wife, Chris Ann, and their family. Bless this family. Continue to guide them in their journey ahead in life. 
with thankful hearts and always seeking your grace, we make this prayer in your name. Amen. Thank you, Tiny, Crush, and Chaplain Becker. Ladies and gentlemen, please take your seats. Ladies and gentlemen and honored guests, it is my pleasure to welcome you to Washington Place, a national historic landmark spanning over 160 years. Perhaps best known as the home of Queen Liliokalani, who lived here for 55 years, it has served as the official residence for the governor of Hawaii since 1922. This building stands as a testament to the enduring legacy of those who have shaped our great state throughout its history. It is an honor for us to be here. Thank you, Governor, for sharing it with us today. I'm Major Charlie Morris of the Hawaii Air National Guard, and I'm honored to be your master of ceremonies today for my mentor and former squadron commander, Colonel Christoph Jag Sills. First, an introduction of our principles for today's ceremony. Presiding over the ceremony is the governor of the state of Hawaii, the Honorable Josh Green, MD. <laughs> the commander, Hawaii Air National Guard, Major General Joseph Harris and his wife, Sarah. The State Command Chief, Hawaii Air National Guard, Command Chief, Master Sergeant, May Martin. And today's honoree, Colonel Christoph K. Sills, joined by his spouse, Chris Ann, and daughters, Kanoe Lani and Mahea Lani, his father, Ben, his wife, Rose, mother-in-law, Chris Aker, sisters, Dr. Judy Alonzo, and Nege Whittington, and Nege's husband, John and their kids, Sydney and Nathaniel. <laughs> Please hold your applause until the end as we recognize the following distinguished attendees in the audience today. Major General Kenneth Hara, the Adjutant General for the State of Hawaii and his spouse, Myung Hara. Command Chief Master Sergeant Zandra Fox, Senior Enlisted Le Leader, Hawaii National Guard. Major General Brett Wyrick, Air National Guard Assistant to the Surgeon General, United States Air Force. United States Attorney Claire Connors, Chief Federal Law Enforcement Official in the State of Hawaii, and her spouse, Lieutenant Colonel Retired Alex Ress. Major General Retired Robert Lee, former Adjutant General, Hawaii National Guard. Major General Retired Michael Compton, former Air National Guard assistant to the Commander, Pacific Air Force, and his spouse, Brigadier General Retired Michelle Compton, former Commander, 9th Mission Support Command. Brigadier General Stephen Logan, Deputy Adjutant General for the State of Hawaii and Commander of the Hawaii Army National Guard, and his spouse, Darcy. Brigadier General Neil Mitsuyoshi, J-4 Mobilization Assistant, Logistics and Engineering Directorate, U.S. Indo-Pacific Command. Brigadier General Philip Mallory, 154th Wing, Hawaii Air National Guard and his spouse, Barb. Brigadier General Walter R. Ross, Jr., Director of the Joint Staff, Hawaii National Guard. Brigadier General Retired Duke Ota, former Assistant Adjutant General, Hawaii Air National Guard. Brigadier General Retired Braden Sakai, former Commander, 154th Wing, Hawaii Air National Guard. Brigadier General Retired Stan Osterman, former Commander, Hawaii Air National Guard. Colonel Retired Clint Churchill, former Commander, Hawaii Air National Guard. And Mr. John Snook, Executive Vice President and Chief Operating Officer, Hawaiian Airlines. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming these distinguished guests. The following is an excerpt from Colonel Sills' biography. Colonel Christoph K. Sills 
serves as the Assistant Adjutant General Air Headquarters, Hawaii Air National Guard, Fort Ruger, Hawaii. He is responsible for 2,500 Hawaii Air National Guardsmen performing operations with the F-22, KC-135, C-17, Command and Control, Intelligence, Surveillance and Reconnaissance, Combat Communications, and Air Traffic Control throughout the Indo-Pacific Theater and globally, all while ensuring those forces are ready to protect life, limb, and property as tasked by the Governor of the State of Hawaii. He serves as the key advisor to the Adjutant General. Colonel Sills graduated with honors from Embry-Riddle Aeronautical University in 1995 and received his commission from the Academy of Military Science in 1998. He is a distinguished graduate of undergraduate pilot training at Laughlin Air Force Base and a distinguished graduate of the F-15C initial qualification course at Kingsley Field Air National Guard Base. He is a command pilot with more than 2,600 hours in the F-22 Raptor and the F-15C Eagle, including over 100 combat hours. He has flown missions in support of operations Noble Eagle and Inherent Resolve. Colonel Sills' record reflects his exceptional leadership, dedication, and remarkable achievements in service to our state and our nation. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in wel welcoming the governor of the state of Hawaii, Governor Green, for his remarks. Aloha. Aloha. It's not lost on me that all of these leaders today are about seven feet tall. <laughs> so first off, um, let me just say, you guys showed incredible restraint, not applauding uh, each of these champions and heroes for our state. Thank you, generals. Thank you, uh, retired military leaders, current military leaders. Thank you all. Another round of applause for you guys. You've been amazing. It's truly an honor to uh, host and be a part of these pinning ceremonies for members of the Hawaii National Guard. Uh, we've had a couple of them now. The most pleasant part uh, for me, selfishly, is to get to meet those who are in service to our state and our country. Uh, each and every individual I've met have been extraordinary leaders, people, they share their stories of family, which I just think is touching. Every one of them have been excellent human beings, and so I think you guys have done a great job selecting our leaders for Hawaii. I just wanted to say that. And I'm particularly happy to hear the stories of family because I know that that will drive how much you care about protecting us and protecting all of that we love in Hawaii and America. So thank you again for that. As we celebrate and congratulate Christoph Sills today for attaining the rank of Brigadier General, we welcome his family. So first, his wife, Chris Ann, let's give her a round of applause for sharing him these many years. And then his extraordinary daughters, Kanoilani and Mahialani. Thank you guys for attending. And I'm told one is off to college and graduating this month. So it's a very big time. Congratulations on Amherst. We're very proud of you. So Christoph, born in Hawaii, raised in Pearl City, had said he had no interest in military service earlier in life when he was a student at Pearl City High School and Leeward Community College. He became a pilot after college, starting with the Trans Air on Lagoon Drive, I'm told, Samoa Air in American Samoa, and then for the United Express in California. He moved to the Hawaii Air National Guard thereafter, and that's when he fell in love with flying the F-15 Eagle. He decided to stay on full time with the Guard, and while many of his peers left for lucrative jobs in the airlines, he made that commitment. So this is something extraordinary to note. Christoph says the company that he kept and the seniority that a uh, pilot would get was a challenge as he had to make these decisions, but he knew he made the right decision to stay full time in the Air National Guard uh, as long as he did because it offered him additional leadership opportunities and growth opportunities, which we are all benefiting from now. So I'm really honored that you made those decisions in life. He started flying military jets and pilot training in 98, flew the F-15 from 2000 to 2010, and then the F-22 from 2010 through his final flight on March 4th. 
So I watched Top Gun last night just to re <laughs> reconnect myself. Now most of his flying uh, will be with the Boeing 717 Inner Island for Hawaiian Airlines. And that's important to us. It is important that we are connected to the neighbor islands. They are central to what we are here. So again, very important service to our state. So thank you, Christoph. Hawaiian hired Christoph in 2017. Good choice. While he was still flying for the guard. And he stayed with Hawaii until COVID slowed everything down in 2020. So my apologies for that. Uh, but then went full time with the guard. And we all came through this okay. Uh, it was a struggle, uh, but here we are at the other side of that crisis with all the leadership. And if I'm not, um, I hope I don't have to apologize for this later for singling out someone who is uh, dear to me, General Hara. Special mahalos to you for the service you did during COVID. General was in many ways the brain trust behind what our operations were, which kept people alive. So a round of applause for General Hara. Thank you. In April, Christoph returned to Hawaiian full-time. He's now undergoing retraining as an inner island pilot. Uh, but throughout his life, his wife, Chrisanne, has been extraordinarily supportive, single-handedly holding down the fort with two uh, budding young women. And again, if I say only one thing today about these individuals that advance in military service uh, for our country and our state, it is also never lost on me how much uh, they do when they raise an extraordinary family. So I'm really excited when I see that in addition to your leadership in the military. So thank you guys. So all of this time, there was training, there were combat operations, there were many activities as we all know. And I honor your sacrifice. For many years I've watched how when you go away from family for significant times, it's difficult. It's difficult and I think that's the one thing maybe a lot of civilians don't fully grasp what it means to be away from family and training. And you've committed many years of that. So again, thank you, General. Christoph said he couldn't have done it all without his wife. So mahalo once again, Chrisanne. This achievement today is just as much yours as it is, as it is his. So let's give her a round of applause again. So before we do our pitting ceremony, let's share a little bit about how Christoph got his uh, call sign, which is JAG which has a very curious, in my neck of the woods in Pennsylvania, I'll tell you, that is a tricky name to take. I will elaborate on later. But we commend you for your strength of character for taking this, this call sign. So anyone who has seen uh, these movies, right, which are, of course, uh, exciting, uh, the pilots get their call signs. And one of his mentors, a senior pilot, told Christoph, look, one of us was, was going to be called Killer. Take the name Killer. And because that guy was a little audacious, they ended up naming him Bambi, I am told. <laughs> so Christoph was probably smart to single out something more moderate and interesting in JAG. Uh, there was a popular show, if you all recall, uh, in, I guess, two decades ago called JAG. And it was about uh, the main actor, and Christoph felt he was comfortable citing and referencing laws, which was an interest of his. So he gave his coworkers that impression of being a military law uh, lawyer or a judge advocate general, JAG. And I think that's how this uh, stuck. So there was some confusion, I understand, about the six foot four pilot who also maybe impressed people that he was an attorney. Uh, not to take anything away from our most prominent attorneys today. <laughs> uh, as he went up through the ranks and they wondered what all this talk was about this lawyer pilot. Uh, but we know him to be JAG, I think amongst his peers, and now general. So we are so excited uh, for you, for your family, for these milestones that you're all having uh, to experience or getting to experience this June. And we just uh, have admiration and love for you and your family. Aloha. Thank you, Governor. Colonel Sills and Chris Ann, would you please join Governor Green for the pinning ceremony? Ladies and gentlemen, please remain seated while the orders are published. Governor Green, I request your permission to publish the orders. Attention to orders. Department of Defense, National Guard Bureau, Washington, D.C. Special Order GOM 090-23-03, dated 31 March 2023. 
by order of the Secretary of the Air Force and the direction of the President. Christoph K. Sills is extended federal recognition and appointed as a reserve of the Air Force in the grade of Brigadier General under authority 32 U.S. Code 305 and 307 and 10 U.S. Code 12-212, effective 1 April 2023. By order of the Secretaries of the Army and the Air Force, signed Daniel R. Hokinson, General, United States Army Chief, National Guard Bureau. Thank you, Governor and Chris Ann. Uh, you may return to your seats at this time. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, Major General Harris will now administer the oath of office to Brigadier General Sills. Ladies and gentlemen, it is my privilege to introduce to you Brigadier General Christoph K. Sills. <laughs> Governor Green will now present the certificate of recognition to Brigadier General Sills. Special recognition from Governor Josh Green, MD, presented to Brigadier General Christoph K. Sills. On this day, we honor your excellence and dedication to your country as you are promoted to the rank of Brigadier General. We commend your numerous accomplishments and career focused on enhancing the lives of others. Since you joined the Air Force at 25 years of age, you have undertaken a distinguished career of service to your country and the state of Hawaii. On behalf of the people of Hawaii, Congratulations on your well-deserved promotion to Brigadier General. Thank you, Governor Green. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Brigadier General Christoph K. Sills.
Wow. <laughs> Aloha and good morning, everyone. I am humbled and honored uh, to be standing before you this morning celebrating my promotion from Colonel to Brigadier General in the Hawaii Air National Guard. I want to take a moment to express my gratitude to my family, friends, colleagues, and all those who have supported me throughout my career. Your unwavering support and encouragement have been a driving force behind my success, and I could not have achieved this without you. Governor Green, sir, thank you for presiding over this ceremony, for leading our state, and for sharing this beautiful historic residence with us for this military ceremony. Your kindness and generosity has greatly appreciated my family. I uh, uh, really appreciate your generosity. Thank you, Major General Hara, Major General Harris, uh, for mentoring me and providing me uh, your leadership and giving me this opportunity uh, to lead at the next level. Thank you, Myung and Sarah, for uh, attending this morning and your support of me and my family. Chief Fox, General Wyrick, thank you so much for your friendship. Claire, thank you for attending today and your support of Chris Ann and our family. Uh, and uh, let's see, Buckshot texted me that he expects to be recognized as her lovely husband, Lieutenant Colonel <laughs> Retired Alex Russ. <laughs> Fair enough. All right, thank you to the current and retired general officers and senior leaders uh, here in attendance, including Chief Martin, uh, Major General Lee, uh, General Compton, and your wife, General Compton, uh, General Logan, Darcy, uh, General Mitsuyoshi, Buddha, uh, Barb, good to see you. Walt, good to see you. Duke, Mongo, General Osterman, good to see you, sir. Uh, I'm happy to acknowledge the attendance of three senior leaders from Hawaiian Airlines that are in attendance, uh, Mr. John Snook, uh, Bob Johnson, and Peter Clark. Uh, they are aviation industry legends, and uh, they're great supporters of our state and nation, and we're so glad to have you here in attendance with us. Thank you so much for supporting your National Guardsmen that work for Hawaiian Airlines. Thank you to the current and retired military leaders who are here in attendance. Uh, you may have not recognized that I was learning from your example, but um, it helped shape me to be the person I am today. I'd like to thank my dad, Ben, his wife, Rose, uh, my mother-in-law, Chris, my sister, Judy, who flew in from San Francisco yesterday, uh, my sister, Nej, and her family, John, Sydney, and Nate. Uh, thanks to Gina and Nick who flew in from Missouri yesterday uh, and our other great friends uh, to our family uh, for supporting us and the family that are also here online. Your attendance means a lot to our family. Thank you to my wife, Chris Ann, and our daughters, Kanoe and Mahea, uh, for supporting me over the years in the varied jobs that I've had, the pop-up trips, the long deployments. Uh, you were able to pick up the slack that I left around behind me, uh, which helped me better serve our nation and state, and all the while helping us enjoy the aspects of raising two teenage uh, daughters finding their way in the world. Uh, this this uh, ceremony takes a lot of work, and so I want to thank the over 25 people who helped put this together, uh, with special thanks to Tiny and Crush for beautifully singing the national anthem and Hawaii Ponoi amazing amazing chaplain becker for your invocation uh, major guillermo and chief imai for all your coordination over the last several weeks and uh, everything today as well and to major mac morris for being our mc this morning mac is a uh, talented leader with great heart for the mission and the people that he serves alongside with um, and i look forward to seeing him progress in his career I also want to recognize the tremendous efforts of the uh, men and women I've had the privilege of working with throughout my career. Your commitment to excellence, tireless dedication, your unwavering patriotism inspire me every day. You are the backbone of the Hawaii National Guard, and I'm honored to serve with you. So my daughter, Mahea, uh, asked me what my new job is now that I'm no longer flying the F-22. Some of my friends have asked me the same thing. Uh, after my final flight a couple of months ago. Like every other fighter pilot in the Air Force, my primary responsibility for the first 20 years of my career was to hone my skills and be prepared for aerial combat on a moment's notice anywhere in the world. Now that I work at headquarters and I'm no longer flying, my former squadron wingmen would probably accuse me of losing my mind. <laughs> Admittedly, I secretly accused General Sakai of losing his mind when he stopped flying and came to headquarters when he stopped flying. His focus pivoted from being the most tactical aviator 
to being concerned with uh, being prepared in times of crisis in our state. Today is June 1st. Does everybody know the significance of June 1st in Hawaii? It's on, it's on Governor Green's mind. It's on General Hara's mind. Today marks the start of hurricane season through November 30th. When I was a squadron pilot and a hurricane was headed our way for the islands, my job was to join others in flying the jets out of harm's way to safety to the nearest F-22 base while leaving our families uh, at home to ride out the storm. That often caused struggles at home because the closest F-22 base is in Las Vegas. <laughs> now in one of my new roles, I have been training with others to, uh, for the past few months to be ready to help serve the state uh, in response to a local disaster. We will be ready if called upon by the governor or the adjutant general to help protect lives, minimize suffering, and restore and protect critical infrastructure. This is another friendly pr public service announcement to review your own family's preparedness plans, to find ways in your own homes to be resilient enough to support yourselves and also be able to help others in your community if the need should arise. All right, if you're like me, you see leadership examples all around and you learn from those lessons. Some are lessons uh, to follow from great leaders uh, and others are lessons about what not to do if you find yourself in that similar situation. I challenge all of you to find those leaders around you and study them to see what they do and how they are those leaders that they are that you admire. And while I can't highlight all the great lessons learned, I've learned from all of you here uh, who are here to support me, I will acknowledge several people who have helped shape me. I learned leadership skills by observing the great examples of military leaders senior to me, including Major General Hara, General Harris, uh, General Logan, General Lee, General Eifert, General Osterman, Putt Richards, Doogie Wyrick, Inch Compton, Mongo Sakai, Knockers Nakamura, and Frenchie Ferro. And while there are easily 50 others who I've learned leadership lessons from, the most impactful training I've received happened through in-depth discussions with close friends over the past 25 years, including with my wife, Chris Ann, Gypsy Itoman, Buddha Mallory, Stuck Blake, Grinder Otto, Buckshot Russ, and Magoo Horton. They are all leaders with great integrity and strong moral compasses. I've been fortunate to have them in my life. Somehow I miss Nuke Nagatani. <laughs> Certainly there with me in my life and helping me learn in those long discussions, helping me learn about myself. As I assume this new role as a Brigadier General, I recognize the immense responsibility that comes with it. I promise to continue to lead with integrity, to uphold the values of the Air National Guard, and to serve with distinction. In closing, I want to express my deepest appreciation for this promotion and for the trust and confidence that has been placed in me. I am honored to be a member of the Hawaii National Guard and look forward to continuing to serve our country and state with all my heart. Thank you all. Thank you, Brigadier General Sills. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise for the benediction given by Chaplain Becker. Please join me in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we ask for your benediction to rest on us this day. As you have graciously preserved our nation through the years and have led us in wondrous ways, grant that we may be worthy of our high calling as a nation. We thank you, God, for each man and woman who has made the ultimate sacrifice in the preservation of these, our United States of America. We pray that you would make us reverent in the use of freedom, just in the exercise of power, and generous in the protection of weakness. Inspire General Sills as he continues in his role in the defense of our great nation and our great state of Hawaii and in the leadership of the service members in his command. Grant him and us that in all our duties, your help, in all our perplexities, your counsel, in all danger, your protection, and in all sorrow, your peace. It is in your name that we pray, amen.
Thank you, Chaplain. At this time, we would like to conclude today's ceremony with the playing and singing of the Air Force song. Please feel free to join us using the lyrics on the back of your programs. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, this concludes the formal ceremony. Brigadier General Sills and his family will be taking photos for the next 15 minutes. The line for General Sills will begin in front of this podium and moves straight down the center aisle. Please take this opportunity to convey your congratulations to him and his family at this time. On behalf of Governor Green, Major General Harris, Brigadier General Sills and his family, mahalo nui loa for attending today's ceremony. Thank you.